2015 was the most violent year in memory for Santa Maria. 13 killings in a city that averages three or four murders a year. There were six homicides in January. In March, police arrested 17 alleged MS-13 gang members, and the murder rate has since returned to normal. As the gang suspects appear headed for the largest trial in Santa Barbara County history, I sat down with the police chief for his most extensive interview to date on how they put a stop to a crime wave like no other in Santa Maria. But they're ruthless. They are absolutely ruthless and they are a killing machine. Police Chief Ralph Martin doesn't mince words when describing the MS-13 street gang. They just started their wave of terror. It's the only way you can really describe it. The, the Reds are homicides wherein we know that they were, uh, was a gang involvement. This chart shows shootings and marked in red homicides over an intense one-year period. Nine of the killings attributed by police to MS-13. We saw an unprecedented amount of shootings uh, starting in June of 15 and culminating all the way up to about January, February of this year. Over a period of months, Santa Maria police conducted surveillance on multiple people they believed to be members of MS-13. Fifteen detectives worked full-time, intercepting phone calls and text messages and monitoring social media activity. Neighboring law enforcement, the FBI and ATF, Santa Maria police conducted Operation Matador. In the early morning hours of March 3rd, 16 arrests were made in multiple locations over the course of three hours without incident. We know who they are. 150 officers were involved. I think it was um, an operation like no other that's really been undertaken on the Central Coast. None of the three murders in Santa Maria since Operation Matador have been connected to MS-13. I feel the Santa Maria Police Department did a great job in cleaning up the MS-13 gang violence, and I feel much safer now. While the murder rate has stabilized since Operation Matador, others still feel unsafe at times in Santa Maria. I won't go certain places at night and i um, always nervous when I come out of the movies and make sure I park real close to the theater. Six suspects from Chief Martin sees Operation Matador as a turning point against crime in the city. 17 defendants with street names like Smiley, Psycho and Bandit now face charges brought by a grand jury. Defendants appeared in court mm -hmm. on those charging documents and their attorneys asked to continue their arraignment to December 2nd. The grand jury heard enough evidence to bring forth 10 murder charges and 14 attempted murder charges against the alleged members of MS-13. Those court documents are sealed, but I did obtain these documents from the courthouse that outline a series of targeted killings. It's our opinion that they were stalking their preys and we were following them. This declaration filed at a bail reduction hearing by District Attorney Joyce Dudley describes the sophisticated techniques the suspects use to track, identify, and scout their victims. It also asserts the only reason six attempted murder victims are alive is because police had the suspects on a wiretap and stepped in. Most of their victims we could see were targeted. They were targeted gang members. And a lot of people say, well, they were just killing other gang members. But you know what? No, no, we had to intervene. The chief says some of the victims were associated with the 18th Street Gang, the sworn enemy of MS-13. Both originated in Los Angeles from Salvadorian Civil War exiles in the 1980s. Many were sent home to El Salvador after the war and gang culture went with them. El Salvador now has the highest murder rate in the world. Chief Martin says MS-13 has 40,000 members and is in 40 states across the country. I'm hoping that the FBI will one day I kind of label them as a terrorist organization. It's Ann Bramson's job to prosecute them in what could be the biggest trial in Santa Barbara County history. 12 plus 5, 17 defendants, 17 lawyers. How many prosecutors are there on the case? There's two of us. Bramson successfully prosecuted five of six gang members in the so-called U-Haul murder trial, a case involving unpaid drug debts. That was one murder. This organized group. This is at least 10. And the chief emphasizes these suspects are not products of Santa Maria. I, I try to tell people, yeah, you know, this, the city gets a bad rap. You know, we're, you know, there, there's a tremendous crime rate rate going on. Uh, but the reality is this, this group just moved in. It'd be like the mafia in Chicago just moving into your city and all of a sudden taxing people and uh, really committing horrendous acts. The next court date is scheduled for two weeks from Friday, December 2nd. We'll continue to cover it. We did put in a request. Our managing editor, George Kiriyama, stood in front of the judge and asked for a camera to be allowed in the courtroom. So far, that request has been denied, but 
we will stay on it. It's just so fascinating. I think in 2015, everyone's going, what is happening to yeah. the city? This isn't Santa Maria. This isn't normal. And so this at least, you know, gave people a little comfort in knowing that it was outside. But just it's fascinating to, to learn more about what was going on. And uh, it'll be really interesting to see what, what happens going forward. Yeah, we were asking the questions. A lot of people were asking the questions. Police couldn't say anything because mm -hmm. they had this operation going for months before they made the arrest. Wow. Well, great report, Scott. Thank Thanks. You. All right, Jason, I want to turn things.